It's $172 million that go to water quality, conservation, outdoor recreation. Of that, $93 million is new funding. That's a significant increase. And um, in addition to that, it, it extends REAP for 30 years, which is another avenue for water quality and uh, local projects to take advantage of outdoor recreation parks. It extends that for another 30 years and increases the amount of funding that goes into that from what's traditionally been funded with REAP. So, you know, I think it's a step in the right direction. And, and Secretary Nag, you know, he talked about this puts the nutrient reduction strategy on a whole new traje trajectory and what we're trying to do with water quality. Most of that, though, is voluntary. Do we need some benchmarks so that there's a public accounting of the progress yeah, we're making? Yeah, well, there is some in the nutrient reduction strategy. This actually came up at the town hall yesterday. We had a great conversation with that. Uh, I invited both of the individuals that asked that question to sit down and take a look at what the, um, the accountable measurables are already in, in place in the nutrient reduction strategy and what are some other things that we need to add. But, you know, it, we're not doing our job of telling the story if we don't acknowledge the amount of private sector money that is going into conservation practices, whether it's cover crops or edge of field or grassy waterways or bioreactors. This gives us an opportunity to identify programs that are working and look for uh, ways that we can scale those across the uh, scale those in Iowa.